、今は遠い、リチャード・ノイトラの世界。簡潔な造形と味わい深い図面。建築家とコラボレーター。37.Museum and Planetarium, Dayton, Ohio. 博物館とプラネタリウム、デイトン、オハイオ州。The structural dome for the planetarium chamber forms the projection surface above a seven foot horizon line. The spherical appearance dictated the use of concrete to form the structural system of the dome. The steel reinforcing rods were wire tied to the exterior face of vertical ribs. Lath and plaster gave a formed base by which the gunite could be applied from the exterior, covering the structural steel ribs and reinforcing rods. The application of gunite required experienced applicators, since it was necessary to keep the nozzle always perpendicular to the surface area being covered. The interior surface above the 7 foot horizon line was covered with a 1 inch acoustical plaster. The surface is free of all trowel marks, which would show up in the projection. The animal fair gaining in charm and attendance as the outer walls, against which the animal display occurs, are transparent and the lovely Ohio landscape of this nature preserve becomes itself background and outlook to birds and beasts exhibited alive. From a westerly terrace and from a pedestrian walk leading west along a now glazed north front, exhibits can be seen by visitors also from the outside, especially when the illumination is suitably designed through heat and glare screening plate glass. Also, the spur walls of the north front, which for summer time are so positioned that they avert the cumbersome afternoon sun from the northwest, are to be constructed of the same material. The three small open courts, which have been positioned in the interior of the animal fair, have one of their otherwise transparent walls, solid and artificially heat radiating. The purpose of this is not merely to melt the winter snow and drain the snow water. But to permit it will a softening of the rigorous Ohio winter climate for animals and surrounding vegetation, or an interesting advancing of the season, say, from March to May, for demonstrating in one of the open cages contrasting results and to compare them with others. The interpretation service of the museum will explain to visitors how in future, also for human beings, the architect will climatize outer space and terraces adjacent to glass fronts, 